Welcome to Patches of Time. A patchwork quilt got me started in reselling. Now I've been selling for over three years. I sell on Poshmark Canada and for my American friends, whatnot. Join me to see what kind of adventures we can patch together. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my latest thrifting haul. So my husband surprised me with the best date ever. It was our anniversary and he surprised me with a thrifting trip or a sourcing trip. So we went to some like antique, vintage antique stores and he took me to all the thrift stores that were open. It was Canada Day, so a lot of things were closed. But this is what I was able to pick up on my thrifting haul. So the first place that we stopped was an uh, antique mall in Oak Lake. So there's two in, in Oak Lake, Manitoba. So there's two there in Oak Lake, Manitoba, and we the one was closed because it was Canada, but the other guy was open. So at his store, I was able to get one of these, this little kitty, oopsies, these Blue Mountain Pottery Kitty. He does have a little chip on his ear, but I just thought he was so cute and light that he would be a nice little add-on for a whatnot sale. Um, with what I saw on Poshmark and whatnot, and with whatnot, everything has to be weighed, so lightweight items do better. And if you have a nice lightweight item in your buy it now, then that basically like buys your box and the shipping is less than if you had bought a heavier item first. So I do fill out my buy it now with a bunch of lightweight items like this kitty. These would also be included um, in the lightweight items. But I fill up with a bunch of lightweight items so that people can purchase that and that's basically like buying your box and then they you know, the shipping's not as much. So, speaking of shipping busters, is what they're called on whatnot, I got all of these uh, vintage pins. Some of them are pretty uh, rural to the area, but some of them are really, really neat and vintage. So here's a lion's one. And then, let's see, oh, like, there's quirky little vintage buttons like this one that says eat pork. Oh, there was one in here that was my favorite, but I don't think I can find it right now without driving everyone crazy with the clinking. I thought this one was fitting for right now. There's so many little hobby farms that are family farms. So that could be something fun. Oh, here's it is. This one. That one's so vintage. It's a little love button. So these are all things that I would feature as buy it nows in my whatnot auction sale. And because um, they're so lightweight that they would save on someone's shipping. I also got these. Okay, so at this um at this place in Elkhorn, he had these grab bags. That I was showing you with the buttons. They were uh, four, they were five dollars each, but if you got four, <coughs> excuse me, you got two, um, you got one free. So that's what I did because I picked up this one and then that, like with the buttons and then I picked up this one and I was like, well, if I'm buying two, I might as well get the free one as well. So all right, pick up these little. Uh, I guess they'd be like a uh, little lotion. They probably had face cream in them or something at one time. And then they've been hand painted on the top with these cute little flowers. This one's showing somewhere. But their like, lids are in good shape and stuff. So I thought that would be a cute little item for whatnot. I'm not sure if it would if I'd list that the Poshmark. And then there was also, you know, well, this is a briar pin. This is a, in Canada, this is a really uh, popular curling tournament. And there are a lot of people interested in, so I thought I'd pick that one up. And then this is like a little keychain that picks, <laughs> that picks your lottery numbers for you. And then there's different little bottle openers and pen caps in there. So 
I thought, you know, someone might like that a little item for uh, to buy it now and whatnot. Same with this little package, basically the same thing. It had this crazy horse pin in it. Oopsies. That I thought was crazy. <laughs> and I thought someone would like some little weirdo pin that someone would like. And then again, like this bag of watches. I'm sure there's not much in here that is worth value, but it was only five dollars. So I figured even if I sell each watch for a dollar, I'm still making money on it. So, there was that. What else did I get at this place? I got this egg cup. Did we talk about the egg cup yet? So I got this egg cup there at his place. I think it's a Holt Howard or maybe it's a Holt Howard wannabe. I haven't researched it yet. But uh, I got this for a good price. He's in good shape. He does have like a little nick right here. And he's supposed to, I guess, I guess they have little top hats that go on them. That's a shaker. That's a salt shaker. And he doesn't have his top hat. But just there, and I think that's all that I picked up at his shop. But I will definitely going, be going back there. Uh, because I'd like to go to the other one as well. So then, it was can of the day. So we drove around. Uh, we continued on through Manitoba into Brandon. And we drove to like literally every thrift shop in Brandon and they were all closed because it was Canada Day. But good old Valley Village was open. So we stopped at Valley Village and that's where I got the rest of the stuff. So I picked up some of these plastic coasters. I thought they were funny. They're vintage with very um, dated jokes in them. <laughs> um, uh, very inappropriate dated jokes which are socially inappropriate now but I thought someone might find them humorous. I think there's six of them all together. And then I got this funny little bunny. He's wooden. He got this uh, yak. And he's giving me artisana rinicata. I did butchered that name but vibes but it's not signed with her signature and I don't know if that's a toenail or if that's a chip I think it's a toenail I think it's just a big toenail I don't see where she's signed anywhere so I'm gonna have to look them up and see if it's one of hers or if it's just a copycat and then we'll move on over here to this eggplant I so this glass eggplant, <laughs> it's really good. Like there's no mark on the bottom for the pedestal. Maybe they would have made it this way, but it's definitely an art glass. Like they might have made it this way, but it's definitely um, an art glass like piece. And it is an eggplant and eggplants are quite popular right now for various reasons. <laughs> and uh, I really liked it. But it was a two four, so it was nine ninety nine for two. So I ended up also getting, which I don't understand why you'd ever make it, but it's a glass, uh, hand blown glass thing of romaine lettuce, and you can see this was there's the pedestal mark there. So they were a two for one. Um, again with whatnot. Lightweight items do good, especially as shipping busters. So that's why I picked up these little mice. They're really lightweight. They're plastic. I think they're like a plastic. And they're just on a little wooden stand and they have a cute little floral arrangement around them. Definitely something that was handcrafted. And I got that for $2.99. And that's also why I picked it up was because... It was just a nice little piece and it would go good for um, a shipping buster or just a little add-on if someone was interested. Okay, then back here, there were these um, plastic canisters. I think they're, they're vintage yellow. You can't go wrong with any of those things. Um, then over here, shaky shaky, I uh, got this little serving platter. I thought that maybe it was hand painted, but with this gold rim, I don't think it was. 
Well, I think it was hand painted. I don't think it's somebody's craft item is what I mean. I believe it's a real thing. And then it says 79. And I'm signed with an H. It's really heavy. It's a heavy ceramic. And it's in good shape. There's no chips or cracks on it. And I love this little older thing. So the reason why I picked up this is because on July 11th I have a Christmas in July sale coming up and I need a couple more items because right now I have a lot of dishware in it and salt and pepper shakers all this stuff here is waiting for that sale also some milk glass some uh, fire king milk glass and I just need some more decor pieces I've got tree toppers I've got wreaths I just need some more decor items and I'm also on the lookout for vintage um, ornaments so if I can finding find some ornaments I'm going to definitely list those as well then I also at Valley Village in Brandon found this I'm gonna move this over here because it's in the way mm -hmm. I found this little pottery kitty. So it is like um, sculpted, I guess, and it's pottery. And I'm almost wondering if it doesn't have a purpose because of the little eyes and that it's hollow in the middle. So I don't know what its purpose would be. If anyone knows, just let me know in the comments. But I just thought this little kitty was weird enough that someone else would love it as much as I would. Plus, it's in a nice, trendy, like, sage, teal green color. Isn't <laughs> <Thank> cute? <laughs> I also was able to pick up this ashtray. Um, I'm not big on ashtrays, but this one's so pretty with the, like, Tiffany blue color. And the leaf has gold detailing on it. And then it was... Sorry, it's made in the USA and it is numbered. So again, I'm going to have to take some pictures and do some research and figure out what that is. And then the favorite thing that I got at my thrifting trip was this jadeite. Well, I shouldn't say jadeite because I don't know. But it was this tree. <laughs> so this is one of those bonsai trees that has the glass you are gonna listen you can hear that that's glass the glass petals and then glass leaves and a little tree and the thing and then a little dish i think it's really pretty um i was going through the shelves like i normally do and then all of a sudden I was like, oh, I need to go see if there are bags of Christmas ornaments because of my upcoming whatnot sale. So then I went over there to the bags and I didn't find anything. And then the the dried, like the fake flowers, like the paper, the fabric flowers were right beside the Christmas ornaments, like the bags of stuff. And I was like, well, I'm going to look through there and see if there's any nice vases because sometimes they'll leave the flower arrangement in a nice vase. And that's when I found this beauty with the, it still needs to be cleaned up a bit more. I just cleaned some of it, but ugh, it must be in a kitchen or something because it's kind of greasy. So I'll have to wash the petals. This one needs to be wiped too. But I did scrub it a little bit before I started the video. I, Oh, look at the mice. Look, they're looking up at it. <laughs> it's like, I planned that. Um, so yeah, I found this like basically like hiding on the shelf behind a bunch of flowers. I'm not sure if someone hit it or if it just got shoved back there. But I was super excited to find it and I show my husband right away. And he was like, yay. <laughs> because he doesn't understand any of it, of this vintage stuff. And he, when I first started, he was like really skeptical. skeptical. But then... <laughs> After he saw how much I was selling and being able to be successful and people were liking the stuff that I was purchasing, he has become a lot more supportive <laughs> to the point that he took me on a thrifting date. 
All right, and then at uh, Valley Village, there was also someone had donated their owl collection. And this is the only piece that I picked up from the owl collection. It was priced quite high for all the owl stuff. And these are brass owls, a brass family of owls on a twig. And so I had to decide between this one and a chalkware piece. And the chalkware piece was like a tree and it had a bunch of owls on it and it was big. It was almost like that size, if not bigger. So it was pretty big, pretty heavy. It would have been heavy to ship. Hard to ship because it had like branches coming off. So it would have like broke easily. And plus it, they had like, oh, I think $19.99 on it. So I would have had to sell it for over $50 just to make it worth my time. So I decided to put that back. Well, yes. That was everything for my thrifting haul that I had this weekend. It was an excellent weekend. My husband took me to all these different thrift stores. And then we went out, we got a hotel room in Brandon because we're two hours away from Brandon. It was like our um, our anniversary. So he, we got a hotel room and then we went for supper at the keg, which was excellent. Very, very expensive, but excellent. And then... We just went home and watched National... We went back to the hotel room and watched National Lampoon European Vacation. Because why not? <laughs> and that was it. It was the best time ever. <laughs> so thank you for watching. And check the description for my upcoming whatnot sale. It's a Christmas in July sale. And I'll also have listed in the description the links to my Poshmark Canada closet. And the links to my whatnot marketplace store. Bye. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in anything you have seen today, the shopping links are posted in the description. Please like and subscribe for more fun times.